This is the craziest Reddit story I've ever heard in my life. Throw away account because this is really personal. My last semester at a certain college, I was assaulted by a football player for walking where he was trying to drive. While unconscious on the ground, I lived a different life. I met a wonderful young lady. She made my heart skip and my face red. I pursued her for months and dispatched a few jerk boyfriends before I finally won her over. After two years, we got married and almost immediately she bore me a daughter. I had a great job and my wife didn't have to work outside of the house. When my daughter was two, she, my wife, wife bore me a son. My son was the joy of my life. I'd walk into his room every single morning before I left to work and doted on him and my daughter. One day, while sitting on the couch, I noticed that the perspective of the lamp was odd, like inverted. It was still in 3D, but just wrong. It was a square lamp base, red with gold trim on four legs and a white square shade. I was transfixed. I couldn't look away from it. I stayed up all night staring at it, and the next morning I didn't go to work. Something was just not right about that lamp. I stopped eating. I left the couch only to use the bathroom at first. Soon I stopped that too and I wasn't eating or drinking. I stared at that effing lamp for three days before my wife got really worried. She had someone come and try and talk to me. By this time, my cognizance was breaking up and my wife was freaking out. She took the kids to her mother's house just before I had an epiphany. The lamp is not real. The house is not real. My wife, my kids, none of that is real. The last 10 years of my life are not effing real. The lamp started to grow wider and deeper. It was still inverted dimensions. It took up my entire perspective and all I could see was red. I heard voices, screams, all kinds of weird noises and I became aware of pain. A effing shit ton of pain. The first words I said were, I'm missing teeth and I opened my eyes. I was laying on my back on the sidewalk, surrounded by people that I didn't know. Lots were freaking out. I was completely confused. At some point, a cop scooped me up, dragged, walked me across the sidewalk and grass, and threw me face down in the back of a cop car. I was still confused. I was taken to the hospital by the cop. It seems he didn't want to wait for the ambulance to arrive and give CT scans and shit. I went through about three years of horrid depression. I was grieving the loss of my wife and children and dealing with the knowledge that they never existed. I was scared that I was going insane and I would cry myself to sleep, hoping I would see her in my dreams. I never have, but sometimes I see my son, usually just a glimpse out of my peripheral vision. He is perpetually five years old and I can never hear what he says.